Hey, it's Mark here from editorskeys.com and today we just wanted to report on the news that Adobe is releasing a full version of Adobe Photoshop CC for the iPad coming early in 2019. Now, the app isn't actually available uh, as we speak, but we've been watching some of the videos online and some of the announcements that Adobe have made. Um, it looks really interesting. This is something that I've wanted for a long time. If you've seen some of my iPad reviews or comments in the past, you'll know that whilst I love the iPad, it's just not a full go-to productivity machine for me. I often leave it at home and take a MacBook Pro with me or the Surface Go because I just can't get something done on the, on the uh, iPad like Photoshop files. And so having full Photoshop for the iPad I think is going to be a huge game changer. Um, we're seeing pictures and videos of it today. It looks like it's got the majority of the Photoshop tools on there. It has the toolbar on the left, it has layers on the right, uh, the rumor is that th there's unlimited layers as well. It'd be nice to see that, but on some apps for the iPad, you can maybe have five or 10 layers, or you can buy new layers. With this iPad app, um, you'll have unlimited Photoshop layers. It's got all of the tools from Photoshop, the main kind of uh, editing tools that is. Um, as I say, we haven't got to test it yet, but I think it's gonna be really interesting to be able to take a PSD from your desktop and edit it on the go with your iPad. One of the questions that has been asked is, how is the iPad gonna handle this? I mean, for one, how will it handle the actual file type? Because the iPad up until now hasn't been great for kind of exploring files and, and importing different file types. Well, Adobe have announced uh, Cloud PSD. So it's a new file type that they're creating just for this app, which will work also with the desktop versions of Photoshop. So you can start creating something on the iPad. Um, it will create a layered PSD file and it will upload that to your Creative Cloud account in the background. What that means is once you start working on something on your iPad, it will be ready and waiting for you when you get back to your desktop, which is really cool. And it just uploads that into the background. Also, if you want to edit something you've been working on your desktop, as long as it's in your Creative Cloud folder or a Dropbox or Google Drive folder, you can open that and import it directly into your iPad Photoshop CC and it will import fonts and other things from your Creative Cloud account. So this is gonna be a bit of a game changer for the iPad. I mean, I really, really hope they enable mouse support and it will just mean that so many people will be able to take the iPad on the go get their emails done, watch the movies, and then actually do some good work and make good use of that Apple Pencil. So let us know what you think of this. Is this good news for you? Is this something you've been waiting for? If so, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and as soon as we get our hands on this app, we're gonna hopefully get it before it comes out to the market. Uh, we'll do a full review for you. So as I say, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be the first to hear about that video. And don't forget to watch some of our other Adobe news videos as we're reporting on the news of Adobe Premiere Rush, which is available for iOS and Mac, so you can watch that. And we're doing some videos on the new Adobe Creative Cloud 2019 updates as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.